It's so good. <laughs> Hello, I'm Wild Game. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Catch me if you can. Hello, everybody. Hello, y'all. Um, Molly and Michelle here, Red Dirt Rooster Road. Red Dirt Rooster Road. And we are doing the um, Wild Game November. Christine with Mrs. Gillum Farms. She has put together this collab of 20 plus channels doing Wild Game November. We have venison, tacos, and red sauce. The red sauce is going to be on twist for some of y'all but the venison part is normal yes it, it yeah venison we have our plate of condiments we normally will have like avocado slices but we have guac tonight guacamole limes onions lettuce tomato cilantro uh Monty's favorite lemon spice and orange spice jalapenos that I just picked off the tree in our bedroom window because we're overwintering them. Plant, yeah. <laughs> Not really a tree, but well, got a little sour cream too. Yeah. We got our cheese meat and then um, the tortillas that he fries up when he's doing the um, meat. the meat and our red sauce. But we just wanted everybody to know um, venison tacos and red sauce. This is one of our family's go-to dinners all the time. It is fast, it is easy, it is so good. Let's eat. Okay, here we go. Catch me if you can. I'm putting the red sauce in, or making the red right. sauce. Making the red sauce. Tomato paste. Okay, this red sauce is a can of tomato paste and you can use the large can or the smaller cans. This stuff keeps great in the freezer. So we just always have this in the freezer. Here is the recipe for our taco red sauce. A 12 ounce can of tomato paste, about a quarter cup of Worcestershire, half teaspoon of vinegar, she says apple cider, I've never used apple cider, one teaspoon mustard, uh, spicy brown, we just use yellow, whatever we have, and then a dash of salt and pepper. Don't forget the add in. <laughs> Worcestershire. And we're going to try this time a little bit of W sauce. We like this W sauce. I can't remember how, how spicy it is, but I think it's going to kick it up just a. Ooh. Oh, golly. That's scary. And you said this stuff wasn't hot. It's not. Does it have a heat? No, no, no. Okay. It's America's Worcestershire. Okay. Yep. So much of this um, red sauce is based on taste, and so you can follow that recipe, but if you find that a little more mustard or more Worcestershire than what it calls for, and I just usually do a cap full, a drop. And that kind of tones down the tomato. Now, <laughs> this stuff will burn real easy. So I've got, our heat is on the lowest setting right here. And this is one of those things where you don't just walk away while you're cooking, making your plate and everything. Which we always do. <laughs> We always forget to leave the heat, the low heat on this, but for whatever reason, it's 
then the tomato sauce is just, it's very susceptible to burn. Okay, so the sauce is good. You can tweak it however you like. Two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. We took a couple chips and we tasted it. So this will work. So I'm going to set this on the back burner and now we are taking the um, meat out and we're gonna do that portion of it. But the, uh, the sauce is made, the red sauce, and our, um, our condiment plate is all put together. So let's go throw this together. This is a very fast meal if you have... Really fast. Really fast. If you have a flat top. If you have a flat top and because you can make the meat out there and you can do the tortillas kind of all together for like 10 minutes. This is why it's one of our most go-to um, meals, I think. Okay? Let's go to the meat. Follow us. This is grapeseed oil. Okay. This is a pound and a half-ish venison burger. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> It'd be all right. This is ghee. Don't buy it from the store. You can make this stuff super easy. It's time for me to make some more too. Yep. The venison is so lean, but you've got to give it a little bit of fat to work with. And those of you out there that are on the fence about a flat top, I would strongly suggest you go ahead and get one. This, I can make dinner out here so quick it ain't even funny. Everything cooks fast out here. She can testify to that. And ladies, I was hesitant at first when he wanted to get this. And it was like, oh, do we really need it? Because we had a smaller one, you know. Oh my goodness. It has made all the difference, so definitely <laughs> let them get it because <laughs> they will use it and it's wonderful. And I'm cooking on low. When I first came into the family, I thought they were just making their tortillas greasy, but this works. They normally did it in a skillet back in those olden days. <laughs> Didn't have flat tops. Except You're showing the, our age. Except at the restaurant. Again, <laughs> and I'm going to spritz each one of these with grapefruit oil. I guess you would call this a shallow fry. I guess that's what you'd call it. But these little deals, Amazon. Excellent. And you can go whoop whoop the top. And then you can pour, pour it. it. Yeah. And it was a two pack, right? Yep. But now these you, these shells go fast fast. Yeah, so. you can see how it's starting to puff up there. Because we eat them soft. We don't eat them hard and crunchy. I mean you can, but However, you know, make it how you like. Oh, but you can just see how the color is turning. Hot. Yes, ma'am. Hey, it's already time to scoop it off. One more in the hot. Oh, yeah, that's true.
it's all dressed up, ready to go to Flavor Town. It's so good. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> okay, guys. We just wanted to. Um, I'm gonna keep eating. Don't forget, check out Wild Game November. Um, Christine with Miss Gillum Farms is the one who is putting this collaboration together. Um, this was great tonight. These these venison tacos hit the spot. I love them. <laughs> and it Always was do. yeah, it was a quick and easy a quick and easy meal to get on the table when you're hungry, in a hurry. Um, but that pretty much is is thanks to him cooking it and having the uh, the flat top. So okay, we are gonna sign off, guys. Um, try these tacos. The red sauce, it's so easy. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in a bowl and I'm going to stick it in the freezer. And so the next time uh, we have tacos, which we're going <laughs> to probably be having some leftover tacos for a couple of days. Okay, we're going to let you guys go. We're going to quit rambling yep. and try these venison tacos or beef tacos. They are great. And definitely try the red sauce. Thanks for joining us. Oh, if you have any comments, if you have any ideas or suggestions or how you guys do it leave us a comment and or just let us know if you've tried it and you like it yep okay we will see you guys on the next one all right Thanks. see y'all bye-bye